Have you ever been laying in bed at night trying to get some much deserved sleep and rest, but can't because you have this uncontrollable urge to move your legs? You might have a jitteriness feeling about them or a tightness aching and throbbing or a creepy crawly feeling under your skin. If you've experienced any of those symptoms, drop me a comment below with I can relate and have no fear because today I'm gonna to share with you exactly what I learned was causing those symptoms for me and what I could do to help get them under control and keep them at bay. But first, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell to get notified when new videos are released in the series every Wednesday. It wasn't until I started doing some much needed research about all these symptoms I was experiencing that I, I learned that the chronic inflammation that was going on in my body was definitely the number one culprit to those symptoms. And that when we experience chronic inflammation over time, our body starts to occur more and more symptoms relating to syndromes like restless legs. So, once I learned what was causing it, I started to try to find out what I could do to bring myself relief day to day. And here are just a few things that I do daily to help those symptoms. One of the very first things that I learned was that I was way too stationary. I was in an extreme amount of pain. I was 80 pounds heavier than I am now. My body was throbbing all the time and my anxiety was through the roof. So all I really wanted to do was hang out and chill, watch Netflix and, and just let my body rest. But I truly did have to learn how to get up and walk just for five, 10 minutes throughout the day, every hour, and especially after I would eat a meal because that aids in digestion when you walk and it helps excrete extra fluid that's on the body causing inflammation. I then started adopting nice long hot baths at night with two cups Epsom salts and two cups baking soda added to it. Both of those combined help relax the muscles and also aid in detoxing the body of inflammation. After my bath, I get my PJs on, whatever's comfortable, I throw my earbuds in, and I turn on some music that is comforting and relaxing to me, and I get in the floor and I hang out with my legs up the wall. My most favorite thing to do at night. It wasn't at first because, trust me, it was quite challenging learning how to get my rear end up the wall, I mean, up against the wall, and my legs up the wall. I wasn't very coordinated at the time, but I'll definitely leave a link in the description below with a video I found on YouTube that was very helpful. Now, when you're laying there with your legs up the wall for five, 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, it helps gravity take over and it pulls the muscles down in the opposite direction and pulls that fluid down so that your body can excrete the rest of it. There are medications out there that doctors do prescribe like anti-anxiety medications and antidepressants, but I did learn that the medications that I was on in those exact categories were causing even more issues with chronic inflammation, therefore causing my symptoms to get worse. I do hope this video helps you today. If you enjoyed the content, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. Definitely subscribe. Click that bell to get notified when new videos are released. And please share this video because you never know who's also experiencing the many lovely symptoms of restless legs. See you next time.